just want to join by Ryan Stark this evening. Ryan, hope you're well. Uh, training go well tonight? Yeah, um, went very well. A uh, wee bit of rain, but all good. Good to be up in Peterhead to get the fans along to um, watch the session. And didn't get injured, and uh, the, the standard of the session was decent enough, so it was good, yeah. Speak to me about your upbringing in football. Uh, good upbringing for yourself? Yeah, um, played since a, a very young age, um, just through the, my school years. Um, started off a Dice Boys Club and, and was uh, really quickly scouted at Aberdeen um, at the age of eight. Um, spent my, my entire my entire youth there. Um, done very well. Uh, got a full time contract at sixteen. Left school early. Um, was there like three years almost. Um, eventually moved on um, down the road, you know, to to Glasgow and um, uh, joined Celtic when when I was eighteen and, and stayed in Hamilton for a year. Uh, really exciting times and. Uh, you know, I was lucky enough to get some Scotland caps as well. I believe you were, am I right in saying you were on the bench against Bayern Munich? I was uh, in the travelling squad, the match day travelling squad. So, so I, did you go to Germany? I went to the Alliance, yeah. We, we spent, I think it was three days there and uh, done some training in, 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 the, in the stadium. It was uh, just different level. Uh, what went what into experiences the, did you get? Because Bayern had a good... Good team at that time. Pardon, what's that? I'd say, what experiences did you have? Because Bayern had a good team at that time. Uh, yeah, so just being in and around the first team at such a young age, um, hearing uh, the manager Jimmy Calder would talk about internationalists at the time, you know, Philippe Blam and uh, Sebastian Schweinsteiger and all these guys, you know, that, that were that were playing against us that night and even the opportunity to, to train on the, the pitch the night before, stand next to guys like Frank Ribery, you know, just a, a different experience. Uh, Luca Tone, all these guys that you know they've, they've made a, a mass wealth out of the game. Did you beat any of the players? Beat did them. You, did you beat any of the players? Yeah, so we um, obviously in the, the, the tunnel um, after the game doing the press stuff. Um, yeah, just lucky enough, you know, it wasn't a case of we, we, we meet them and speak to them, but you know, we were, we were eating and stuff, and yeah, just in and around uh, such superstars was Felix Beaton. After Aberdeen, it was Celtic. Uh, was that who was that with? Was that were you part of the Aberdeen travelling school at that time? Which we've included like Sir Paul Lawson, or was that? Was that no, no, it? that was uh, so that was after uh, that point. So was Cy Ferry with you at Celtic? Simon was at was at Celtic in the reserve squad. Yeah, uh, Nicky Riley was also okay. there. Who was at Peterhead? Um, Ryan Cornroy was another that that ended up here. Um, I moved. I moved there in two thousand and eight. Um, spent spent most of the season with the, the youth team and then finished the last few months with the reserve group and was sort of integrated in with, with Simon, Ryan and, and Nicky towards the, the, the later part of my, my time there at Lennox then. What experiences did you have, did you have at Celtic? Just the exact same as I've just mentioned, uh, in and around the best players in the country, um, internationalists, guys that are proven, uh, proven at winning domestically and, um, you know, the... the just the way that these guys handle themselves on and off the park, you know, if you if, if you got that opportunity to to go back and be that young guy and and be look at these role models and apply yourself that exact same way, you know, that's it. The the valuable experience and lessons that I would have probably learned. Was Tony Mowbray the manager then? No, um, Gordon Strachan. Was it still Strachan? Was it Tony Mowbray had a short spell just before just before I came in, and uh, it was Gordon Strachan and Gary Pendry, and then Willie McStay and Neil Lennon as a as reserve coaches. Yeah, and in terms of after Celtic, you, you were still down the road and you had a trial with Air, am I correct? Um, I had quite a few trials okay. um, and I had quite a few opportunities as well to maintain uh, full-time status, but the the best offer for me at the time was to relocate back home, um, be with people I was comfortable around. Um, I, I'd spent just over a year away from home been such a young age and in the biggest uh, city in Scotland, I felt it was time to come home. Um, I had a couple of offers. I had uh, a couple of offers in the championship. I had a couple. I hadn't had one offer. Um, in the lower end of the SPL at the time, I'm sure they were in the SPL. Um, and then two two sort of variable offers from down the road as well. But at that point, I was um, well and truly tied up with Peterhead. Was you a bit homesick down there in Glasgow? It's not I was homesick, it was I was young and um sort of living alone in digs, um, albeit I had a great time. Um, I met some amazing people and friends, you know. Amazing experience. It wasn't I was homesick, I just felt I wanted to come home. The time was 
then and the opportunity to to play part time it, as, as much as this sounds everyone wants to maintain full time the opportunity to go part time and earn the same sort of money but, but go out there and, and learn a, a trade or or get into the working world and, and earn some more money was just an opportunity that I found quite challenging and, and wanted to do. How was your first spell Peter Head ahead when you signed for Peter Head the first time? Um, ups and downs, like very much the, the, the season we're, we're having. Um, I think we started off in a bit of a downward curve. Um, the, the later end of Neil Cooper and Andy Dornan's reign. I think we were relegated. Um, in my first or second season, but then straight um, immediately we sort of picked up. Um, John Sharon came in and had a okay. wee three month spell. Made a lot of changes. To be fair, the team the team needed a bit of a movement. Changes didn't really work for the better. Jim McAnally came in and 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 you know the the the, the spell that he had at the club um, primarily was was a, a positive spell um, and he was a major influence in, in my time at Peterhead as well. Before we speak about your second spell, Cove Rangers uh, enjoyed some very good times there, won the Highland League yeah. and you were part of the journey up to the championship for Cove. Yeah, um, nothing but good good things to say about the club and um, the people and my time there, you know, we, we trained local, we had a base. Um, Funny sort of first year there when we, we didn't have a, a home base. We trained oh, yeah, yeah. and played it in Brewery with, with ground share, but everything from the group of guys, the players, the backroom staff, um, the attitude, the culture that was just around the club, the desire to progress and the ability within the group was, was just, you know, it was five years I'll never forget. You had your injuries and the injuries hasn't derailed you because you're obviously a pivotal part of Peter Head this season. So I, I picked up an injury at the, um, the tail end of my second year at Cove away to Brora. Uh, I think okay. it was the week a week before um, the vital playoffs that we played. Uh, was it Spartans and East Spartans and Cowden Beef? It was possibly a break at the time. We never scanned. It was probably um, probably a break and never really never really recovered from that in my, my season after. Um, I'm not saying that was the root cause of, of where I went wrong, but that that specific year we were then migrated to AstroTurf. Okay, oh, so yeah, training on AstroTurf while still being in the Highland League and playing on grass, something just didn't, I don't know if I rushed the injury back, I tried to get ahead of schedule, I really don't know, but ever since then uh, that changed to Astro in, in the, the off season there, just been really reoccurring. Um, Achilles injuries um, in both feet which is you know it was quite it was foreign to me I, I'd never really been injured in my, my career at all yeah. um, so to have a, a spell on the sidelines and not really know within rehabilitation and physio work what was what was the underlying issue um, it was frustrating and challenging but every now and then sort of managed to get over it through um, injections and some long layoffs and, and, and some strength and rehab work. This season, Peter Head, enjoy it again? Uh, challenging season, frustrating season. Um, team's going through a, a huge transition of players. Um, it's 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 known to the, the, the public and in, in, in the news that um, we've had a mass influx of players. Yeah. Um, probably too much uh, in, in two, two spells, different spells, one at just passing the January window, and then one in the at the start, um, not really through any any fault. You know that it was hard. It's been hard for both both managers, uh, previous McAnally and, yeah. and current with with Davy. You know, been hard for them to pick up players. Um, good players are getting captured early. You know, so it's resulted in a frustrating season. Um, one where you know we're right in the middle of a fight. Um, there's 10, 11 games this season to go and, and, and we need to, to be fair, the last few weeks we've really ground together and started to churn out some, some gritty performances and it's it's making the the belief within the group grow and and personally got some pride in the last few games just to, to see others around us doing well and, you know, we're not going into games with that mindset now where, you know, we, we, we think it's going to be a tough game, we're now going into games thinking that, you know, um, we can we can take points. Well, thanks, Rod. Cheers, man.